Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you will see some very short examples of the Solid Edge 2D drafting training for the free Solid Edge draft application. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This next preview is part of the fourth training session, which discusses the different workflows to use when generating a 2D drawing. If we were attempting to create a drawing of a particularly large design, it would probably not fit on the A3 sheet unless we scaled down our geometry appropriately. Additionally, if creating a drawing of a small design, we would probably need to scale the geometry up in order to create a readable drawing. We could scale geometry as we draw, but this would prove very time consuming and possibly prone to errors. A far better workflow is to take advantage of the Solid Edge 2D model sheet. This allows the design to be constructed at its full scale or size. Then once this is done, views of the geometry can be placed onto the drawing working sheet at an appropriate scale. The dimensions that are then placed on the views understand the scale used and report the correct values throughout. In order to activate the 2D model sheet, we need to navigate to the view ribbon and hit the 2D model command. This will toggle the sheet on as can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Notice that when the 2D model tab is selected, there is no concept of a sheet of paper like we have in the working sheet. Also, since the primary aim within the 2D model is to construct geometry, these commands are presented directly on the home ribbon. In order to help us construct the geometry in this drawing, We'll switch on the grid by accessing the grid options, choosing Show Readouts, Show Grid as Points and Snap to Grid. We'll also check to make sure the Maintain Relationships option is toggled on too. Then we'll draw the outline of the top view for a machined component using some of the tools that we have already been discussing in earlier sessions. Once this is done, we'll switch the grid and the readouts off. Then switching on relationship handles will show us the constraints we currently have on the geometry. We'll add a horizontal vertical relationship to make sure the outside of the slot remain in line. We'll then add some further detail with a circle and then a rounded slot. We'll now add some dimensions to drive the geometry to the correct size. Before doing this though, we'll activate the auto hide layer as the active layer so that the new dimensions are placed onto it. Using smart dimension, We'll choose the style called ISO large, then place and adjust them as necessary. The ISO large style has a larger text font so they can be read more easily on this larger view. We'll be learning more about styles in another training session. Remember that the ability to adjust the dimension values is only possible because we have maintain relationships set and the dimensions are being placed as driving. The fact that they are placed on the auto hide layer means they will not be visible when the drawing views are placed onto the working sheet later. The key point to note here is that we did not initially need to draw the geometry at the correct size. Instead we use the dimensions and geometric constraints to control and adjust it. 